Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different that I don't usually do. It's not really my style, but today I'm going to be doing my alter ego look. So it's going to be very dark and unusual for me, but I have the style going on here and I'm going to see how it turns out. So this brush kind of turned out really weird. I don't know what happened to it, it was like flattened. And if we look more red than usual, it's just that I kind of got a sunburn over the weekend, so there's that. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to use this color here. any excess. I'm gonna go ahead and begin the transition. I finally got a haircut over the weekend and I had like four inches taken off so may not seem like a huge difference for people looking at me right now but it is especially when you have a ton of dead hair. And I had my eyebrows done. I was going to get my nails done as well, but I just decided to do them myself and let the nail bed grow because the nails fall off so fast if the nail bed is not long enough. There's a huge difference between having them stay on for four weeks versus two weeks. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this color right here slow transition into the dark. I'm always worried about doing dark looks because I find that it will make me look too harsh because my skin tone is so light. But I figured I would go with something a little bit different. I love the look of my eyebrows knowing that they're so perfectly done and feeling the smoothness of it. I don't know if anybody else can relate to that, but it feels so good. Next, I am going to take a darker brown right here. And just going to apply it to the outer corner and I'm gonna kind of use my other mirror for this just to make sure that it's where exactly I want it to be. This could be a perfect fall makeup look, I think. And I'm doing it in the middle of summer, so. It can be worn any time. Take this black here. And I'm not going to use a whole lot of it, as I always say, and then I end up using too much. Very, very lightly. Dust it on the outside. Okay, it's already getting overwhelming with this color, but it is my alter ego look, so.
And I find that I don't really need a highlight. I kind of have a natural highlight right below my brows. Just it's a perfect line there. So I think I might just leave it as natural as possible. much more overwhelming on this eye than this one so I think I just need to blend it out a little bit more big blending brush like this If you watch any of my other videos, you know that like my eyelids have a problem being symmetrical. Usually this one is way more dramatic than this one. So, and that is exactly what happened right now. I'm going to take this color right here and very lightly I'm going to apply it to the center of my lid. Okay, and that is the end of this look. I hope you guys liked, and if so, subscribe for more content. I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.